Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my first of August grocery haul. I am a few days late with my groceries. I have been busy all week, so I couldn't get out until today to get my groceries. So again, it's a little bit late, but we have been really stocked up, and I'm still trying to kind of get through my freezer and rotate through some of that stock and get things organized. I don't like to grocery shop when my pantry is disorganized. Um, that way I can keep everything rotated. So that's definitely something that I need to focus on a lot this month, but I did pick up some groceries at Winco. So again, this is my first of August grocery haul a few days late. And I'll go ahead and share on my meal plan some of the meals that we've had in the first part of this month um, since I wasn't able to share that sooner. Anyway, again, I went to Winco. That's a new grocery store it recently opened around here and I've really been enjoying it. And they have a lovely produce section and a, a little bit different selection than some of the other stores around here. So it's been really nice. I'll go ahead and start with the produce. I picked up some yellow potatoes. I actually don't need many potatoes. My garden has been providing us with quite a few of the red potatoes, but I did want some golden ones for the recipe I'm making tonight. Today is Sunday, and I'm making a ham uh, dinner for the family with a gratin potatoes and things like that. So I wanted these softer skin skinned um, golden potatoes for my agron potato recipe. I also picked up some whole carrots and these pink lady apples. They smelled really delicious. It was definitely a nice fresh apple scent. And then some oranges. The orange has been really good lately. Um, some bananas. My husband has been eating fresh blueberries almost every day with his breakfast. So we picked up some more blueberries. And then I love grapes. And I thought I would try out some of these darker, um, they're like a black seedless grape, so those looked really good. They also have a really wonderful corn lately. It's definitely that season where the corn starts to be really good, so we picked up some corn as well. And then a head of cauliflower um, that I'm going to try roasting. I've always wanted to try a roasted cauliflower, so I picked up a head of that to do that with. And then this Winco that we shop at has a really big bulk food section. I didn't need much bulk today, but I did want to pick up some dried pineapples. Both me and my husband love those. And then my husband also picked up a bag of his um, favorite selection of jelly beans. I know there's some buttered popcorn ones in there. Those are his favorite. And then we picked up the ham for tonight's dinner. And this was a really surprising find. I usually have duck every single um, Christmas season. But this past year, I wasn't able to find a duck to cook. None of my local stores had any. I tried to um, have them order it, and they couldn't even order any in. So I came across a duck in their frozen section, and I thought I would pick two up. I actually have one in the freezer already. And this one here, I'm going to go ahead and cook one here possibly possibly this month, but I definitely wanted to keep one in the freezer just in case I had a difficult time finding duck again for the holiday season. It's the first time I've seen it in any grocery store around here in a really long time, so that was definitely a fun thing to come across. Not quite for me. I usually like duck more in the fall. Um, it's more of, you know, it takes a lot of heat to cook this in the oven all day, and um, it's more of like a fall meal or, or a holiday meal, but that is okay. I'm excited to finally have that. Probably make that with an orange sauce. Then I picked up a couple of chips here, the baked ruffles, cheddar, and sour cream. And then we found this new um, flavor here that looked really good from Sun Chips. It's the sweet potato and brown sugar flavor. So that sounds really good. We thought we would try that out. And then tonight with our ham and a gratin potato and broccoli dinner, we're going to be having dessert. So I picked up a couple of apple pies. I got a regular apple pie and a Dutch apple pie along with some vanilla ice cream. I also picked up some rainbow sherbet. And then I also picked up a turkey smoked sausage and a couple packs of bacon here. I decided to try out the Winco brand um, sparkling water. This cranberry raspberry flavor sounded really good. They didn't carry the little cans of the Perrier that I like, um, so I'll have to pick those up at Target. I'm really hoping to find more of the peach flavor. That is definitely one of my favorite flavors, but I thought I would give this one a try too. And then let's see some other random things here. I found a new type of mayonnaise from from Heinz here. It says that it's deliciously creamy and also it's made with 100% cage-free eggs and it looked like a lot of other natural ingredients. So I thought I'd give this a try. I like the shape of the um, bottle and I thought that the fact that it was creamy might be nice in some of my different summer salads that I use a lot of mayonnaise for. And then I picked up some Grand's Biscuits. I got one of the buttermilk um, variety, one of the honey butter, and then one of the original. Just have on hand for, you know, side dishes, quick side dishes or breakfasts. Then I got a bag of the mini bagels. 
I love the mini size. The larger size are just too much. Um, they're just too big, so I really like the smaller ones. And then for tonight's um, a gratin potatoes, I got some of the farm style cut Tillamook Colby Jack cheese. I love the farm style cut. It just melts so nicely in casseroles and any other dishes that you're cooking. So definitely picked up some of that as well as some in the sh in the sharp cheddar here. I love sharp cheddar cheese. I picked up one little yogurt here, the peach uh, wee yo play yogurt. I love that. And then we are running low on chicken Montreal uh, McCormick seasoning. This is what I use, of course, to uh, season all of my chicken as well as my pork. I like this on pork as well, and I go through this quite a bit. I am hoping that I can at one point find this in the larger bulk size like I um, purchased my steak Montreal in. I use, I use both of those seasonings pretty frequently, and I would love to get that in a bigger size. But for now, I'll just use that size. And then... Um, Got some lunch meats here, just the little packets here. Turkey, pastrami, beef, and a honey ham, and another pastrami. I picked up some hot dog buns, as well as a few extra hot dogs, just in case we run out. I think I still have some from Costco, though, and I was thinking that one night we will definitely have to have um, chili dogs. I love chili dogs in the summer. It looks like another packet of beef there. Also, as a treat, I picked up this raspberry strip Danish. I thought that we'd have it for breakfast one day this week. So I tried some of their individual ones of these a couple weeks back, and they were really good. So I thought that I would try um, this big uh, full-size raspberry Danish, which I thought would make a really Really good breakfast treat. And then some sour cream and also the Jiffy Muffin Mixes. It's really hard to find these different flavors and I was happy to find both raspberry and blueberry. So that was nice. Got a couple boxes of linguine. And then I thought I would try out these new Cocoa Crispy Treats. They're like Rice Crispy Treats, but they're made with the Cocoa Crispies, so that sounded pretty yummy. And then I got three boxes of the White Cheddar and Broccoli Pasta Roni. And my husband got some of his favorite peach preserves. He has those for breakfast almost every day. And then uh, Chocolate Brownie Cliff Bars and Chocolate Chip Cliff Bars, just like always. We like to have those on hand. I did get a few of these, but I only set out two here on my table. Um, these are the little microwavable soups. I like to just grab these occasionally with like maybe a little bit of toast or crackers to have a quick lunch. This one is the cheesy potato with bacon. And then also I haven't ever tried this one. This is the cheesy chicken tortilla. So that sounded pretty good. And then I did um, get some olives here. I actually stocked up on a bunch of Campbell's soup here. I didn't put it out all on the table um, just because of space, but I got uh, probably four of the bean with bacon and four of the split pea with ham. I got a few of the cream of asparagus. I got a bunch of the cream of mushroom soups and tomato soups. I use those in cooking, so I needed a bunch of those. And one of the ones that is not represented here, um, I did get a couple of the cheddar cheese ones too for different recipes. So I picked up a bunch of those soups and then a bottle of sweet and sour sauce. And then two more um, containers of the Lipton iced tea in both raspberry and peach. I've been making these pretty regularly all summer long and I absolutely love them with all this heat. It's so nice to have a nice glass of iced tea and I like to make up a picture of it for when we're having family dinners. And then lastly, as always, I try to bring my dog a treat and now we actually have two here because my daughter got herself a puppy, which I'm hoping to get on film sometime this week. He's an adorable little yellow Labrador puppy and he has been a ton of work. That's another reason I'm a little bit behind on chores. I've been helping babysit um, her dog, my daughter's dog, while she's away at work. And of course, puppies are a handful, but he is definitely an adorable little thing. So I got them each a little hedgehog. I know that my um, black lab, Zoe, will also really love one as well. So I got them each a little hedgy um, toy as well that I found at the grocery store. They were very reasonably priced. Um, so I thought I'd bring them a little treat. So that is my grocery haul for the first half of August here. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at everything I purchased. And now I'll go ahead and share with you my two week meal plan. And here is my meal plan for the first half of August. Of course, since I'm posting it late, I've already cooked these first meals, but I thought I would go ahead and share those with you anyway. So on Wednesday, I made a bacon and chicken Alfredo casserole with veggies. On Thursday, we were very busy. I was shopping to replace my washer and dryer, which I'm really excited about um, having those delivered this coming Friday. So we ended up having a pizza night that night. On Friday the 3rd, we had a tater tot casserole with corn on 
on Saturday the 4th, we had a spaghetti dinner with meat sauce, French bread, and green beans. And last night, Sunday night, we had ham, potatoes a gratin, and corn on the cob with apple pie and ice cream for dessert. Tonight, we'll be having fish with rice pilaf and veggies. On Tuesday the 7th, we'll have pork chops, stuffing, and veggies. That's when I'm going to roast up the uh, cauliflower that I purchased. On Wednesday the 8th, we'll have a chili dog night with fruit salad. On Thursday the 9th, we'll have grilled chicken, stuffed jalapenos, and corn. On Friday the 10th, I've given myself a challenge here. I don't have the meal written down, but I would like to research and come up with a new um, crock pot recipe. Just to kind of add something new into the rotation. So I'm going to... Um, kind of look around on YouTube and look through my cookbooks and see if I can find an interesting crock pot meal to make. And I will um, hopefully let you know how that turned out in my next meal plan or in a what we had for dinner video. And on uh, Saturday the 11th, we'll have turkey and veggies over rice. And on Sunday the 12th, it is my husband's um, father's birthday dinner. So we will go to grandpa's birthday dinner. On Monday the 13th, we'll have grilled steaks with potatoes and veggies. On Tuesday the 14th, we'll have herbed cod with rice and asparagus. And on Wednesday the 15th, another recipe challenge. Again, I just kind of want to mix it up, add a couple new recipes into the mix. So I'm going to look through one of the uh, vintage casserole cookbooks that I picked up uh, a couple of library book sales ago. And I'm going to look through that and pick out one of the vintage casseroles to make. Again, I'm hoping to film those, at least how they turn out to include in a um, what we had for dinner video that I hope to post at the end of August. So you can um, look forward to seeing how those turn out. And um, hopefully I'll find some good new recipes to add into my uh, monthly meal plans. So that's my meal plan for August 1st through 15th. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my meal plan as well as my Winco grocery haul. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.